Japanese are the best Asian athletes in America right now. But why is that? If their developmental systems are so good, does that make Japanese the best Asians. <laughs> oh, man. I already know the comment sections are going crazy, but a lot of people know what you're talking about, Andrew. Just look at the NBA right now. They've got Yuta Watanabe leading the NBA in three-point percentage. Rui Hachimura is, like, averaging almost 20 over this past month. What, one of the most talented MLB players of all time is Shohei Otani. Woo! Japanese uh, team did really well in the World Cup. You got Naoya Inoue, who's uh, dominating Bantamweight boxing. You also got Kei Nishikori, who is... One of the highest paid tennis players in the world. I'm not going to lie. I didn't know that. Yeah, they got Naomi Osaka. They got a bunch of other people that I think we could be forgetting. But real quick, guys, we got to get into the history of basketball in Japan. Then we're going to talk about the sports systems. Then we're just going to talk about, like, why is Japan so good at certain things? And just things about Japan in general. Because a lot of people wonder, like, what makes Japan so unique and different from other countries in the world? All right, so if you guys are excited about this video or you guys are interested in this topic, please make sure to hit that like button for us right now so that more people can see the video. David, give us the quick history of basketball in Japan and how it got so popular. Oh my goodness, Andrew, the history of basketball in Japan is very recent. In 1988, the Dream Team comes and does an exhibition. They got Jordan, they got Barkley. That sparks a guy, Andrew, to write a little manga anime called Slam Dunk. <laughs> you know how Japanese are. They like don't really make the separation between cartoons and real life as much as like, I guess, Western people do. <laughs> that inspires the whole country to be basketball fans and play basketball. That leads to crazy basketball collecting retro sneaker culture because the Japanese kind of started collecting Jordan 1s in like pristine condition, the first out of everybody. In 04, 5'8", Yuta Tabuse signs a multi-year contract with the Phoenix Suns. However, he gets cut in a month and a half, but he did drop 13 on Luke Rittenauer's head top. Obviously, Seattle Supersonics fans, we are. And then now in 2023, they got Yuta Watanabe and Rui Hachimura being very effective NBA role players. I will tell you this. That's how good of a manga Slam Dunk was. It actually got turned into a, an anime, and it actually inspired people to play basketball. To this day, that is probably the best basketball cartoon ever made. Yeah, they got Blue Crush for uh, uh, the World Cup, too. So it just goes, goes to show you, man, animes... It means something different to them, man. Man. Uh, all right. So, David, we got to talk about the overall sports systems in Japan. Why does it seem like Japanese people take sports so seriously and they're able to train the right, right way? Like, right. Long story short, I do think Japanese generally treat whatever they're doing seriously. Even if they're, like, being silly for a job, they would, like, take it really seriously. Mm. Um, but... That's just like an overarching cultural thing. But I will say this. Obviously, Japan has been the longest running, I guess, first world economy in Asia. That has allowed them to mimic and due to the relationships, of course, after the war, they attack Pearl Harbor, they drop the bombs, and then they have the Japanese economic miracle, but with very close ties to America. Japanese sports systems are actually the closely most modeled system in Asia to the U.S. and Canada. Mm. So actually in Japan, Andrew, you can sign up for like a Parks and Recs, like easygoing league. Right. You could sign up for the school team and try to get a scholarship to go to college. Or you could sign up for like select competitive clubs for almost every single sport in oh. basketball. That would be equivalent to AAU. Well, David, if we are going to model our sports system after any system, it should be the American one because they are the best. And also, Andrew, people say, uh, it has to do with the fact that Japan is not very religious, even though they have a lot of Shinto influence that influences their work yeah. ethic. Uh, they also are not very political because they're kind of just like, oh, yeah, we're cool with how things are running. So I'm just not going to spend any time thinking about this. What does that leave them more time for? Sports. Yeah. And also, Andrew, you have a theory that it's not just the lack of religion and politics in Japan that makes them have more time for sports. I mean, I think in the past 75 years, you, you've seen Japanese sports excel, and that's partially because it became a pacifist country, and they stopped putting energy and funding into military, oh. right? Which is a lot of strong athletic men going into the military. A lot of testosterone. Yeah, and you put that kind of energy in running sports systems and other things, and other things, of course, so like industries. So you are saying we took our energy from the battlefield to the soccer field 
and baseball diamond. Yeah, and then also tie in the attention to detail. Obviously, everybody knows even like something like sushi is 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 such a they're a very detail, artisanal, hyper detail, detail oriented, oriented, and that's why they might produce the best full Asian guards overall. Minus Jeremy Lin, who was American. You um, know why? Because guard play, especially in basketball, is hyper detailed. The reads super. and stuff. It's like a game of inches. Um, I'll say this, Andrew. Long story short, though, Japan has had sumo wrestling as a sport with heavy incentives for two thousand years. Back wow. in the Heida period, Andrew. The the first sumo matches were designed for the, all the royals to watch for the gods to see if the harvest was going to be good or not. So they are used to betting big on sumo matches. Wow. So their culture of sports, and by sports, I don't mean like gladiators where people have to die and fight for things or whatever. I'm saying sports has been around for a really long time. Yeah. Wow. And so that leads us into our Japanese history section. By the way, guys, I know a lot of weebs are on the internet that are about to kill us for this. We are not East Asian studies majors. We're not Japan <laughs> studies majors, but I did do some research. Andrew, I guess Japan is a really, really unique country. Why do you think so many people are like, you know, Japan's almost like, just like I saw it in the pictures. It was this dreamlike state. I didn't hear a single dog bark, a single car horn beep. And it was just like so different, but still advanced. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it has to do a lot with the geography and the culture. Uh, they didn't have to worry about too many enemies invading. They kind of been uh, isolationist, uh, but they have, uh, I feel like, pretty good agriculture overall across the islands. And yeah, it's a cold, it's a cold weather place. You know, cold weather, you got to figure things out. You got to build shelter and all that stuff. So I don't know. I mean, it, there's a lot of reasons. Yeah, and I'm not an expert on this. I'm just literally rattling off. <laughs> The logical things, all right? I think that a lot of it had to do with, like you said, having no real enemies and then kind of being able to, like, send out some smart people to go to learn from other places, get the, like, the the, the studies and the research and, like, bring it back, but literally just sort of, like, be on their own. You know, I think Japan's history is, like, super fascinating. Of course, Andrew, they did do a lot of bad things in Asia. Oh, yeah. But also that was weirdly driven by their sense of superiority, and I'm not saying all those good things, you know, it's all bad, but just like... No, think about it, It was bro. still driven David. by something that, like, drives people, even if it's, like, a bad impulse or a superiority impulse. No, I'm telling you, the focus and the energy that they were putting into the military at that time to pull off some of those uh, incredibly horrible things, they just put it more into a positive outlet like sports. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess, what are the legit downsides of Japanese culture, too? Because, like we said, they work really long hours. Whatever they do, they pretty much, like, take it serious, even if they're being silly literally yeah. like being a comedian people take yeah. it serious like serious serious yeah i mean i i do think that there's a pretty high suicide rate i don't even know if it's the highest in the world but it's it's up there and then uh i guess, I guess like they, they have said a, like on a happiness metric some maybe. people say they they have uh the otomoshi which is like they, they they say one thing in public but they feel something else they, so you never feel like you can show what is in your heart to the outside that's true that's true they also have a declining birth rate obviously a lot of people don't want kids but that kind of happens in a lot of super for advanced societies, you know, right. like it's you, almost like just the no, next logical just yeah, thing you is just, just a self destruct. You just become a hipster and then you stop having kids and you just want dogs and plants and other hobbies and stuff. And I like think that. one of the biggest like uh, things that I've seen recently is they're like, will we as Japan develop more robots or will we take immigration? <laughs> and a lot of people are always saying the, the Japanese are like, yo, oh, hit the robot button. Tick, 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 tick. I mean, I guess long story short, Andrew, for all its amazing pros and cons and debatable gray zones, I guess what can people take away from like the Japanese ability to develop systems and um, I guess run teamwork? Because I heard, Andrew, that their sports systems focus so much on teamwork that even sometimes the players struggle in isolation skills. For example, with Japan's teamwork led it to almost beat Croatia in the World Cup. However, once it came down to penalty kicks, which is more of like an ISO selfish skill, they weren't good at it. Same with the basketball players. They understand play action. They move the rock. But obviously, to get to the NBA level, you need the teamwork aspect and the ISO skills aspect. Man, I don't know. Uh, it's hard to say, guys. I mean, I don't really have the answers on how other Asian countries can emulate Japan. I think it's very hard. I'm sure a lot of people have been. I mean, Hong Kong, Singapore... Do, do they kind of South take, Korea? Are they all influenced Taiwan, by Taiwan? Yeah, yeah, Taiwan, Korea, maybe the most. The, the small tigers, the Asian tiger yeah. economic countries. Yeah, so I, I guess uh, I don't know. You guys, let us know in the comments down below what you're thinking so far. Like, how can other Asian countries be more like Japan, or is it almost? Not possible because all the elements had to come into play. It was like homogenous society. They didn't have any uh, enemies 
on the borders, right? It was just water and uh, all these other things. I mean, I don't know. Like, how was it how the does, sumos? Andrew, they're the only ones with sumos. What if sumos was what the key? What if it was that? sumos, the samurai culture, everything? I don't know. Let us know in the comment section below. Number one, why you think Japan has the best youth sports developmental systems in all of Asia. Obviously, now it's transferring to America. I know Japanese Americans have, you know, their own developmental systems. They're actually pretty advanced as well, too, but we're not talking about that. And uh, just let us know what you would like to or what you would not want to learn from Japan in general. So, you know, again, guys, we're the Hot Pop Boys. Shout out to Yuta Watanabe and Rui Hachimura. Um, and until next time, we out. Peace. Peace. I'm wearing a Utah Watanabe jersey. Shout out to the Brooklyn Nets.